All right. So, hey, you saw that for your own self. There was there was a whole lot of uh, <clears throat> those uh, fifth, fourth and fifth generation. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I got to say this before I read this scripture. Now, uh, the scripture does talk about uh, up upon the third and fourth generation. You come back. Right. So some of the, some of those people, some of those uh, men, those uh, darker, those darker men that look just that look just like uh, uh, some of them look like northern a uh, 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 southern kingdom. Some look like northern kingdom, you know, dark skin. Shall I say, look at that dumbass Facebook uh, demons, man. Can't stand that shit. Anyway, you know, some of them, uh, so one of them could be him coming back. It could, one of them could be a Thomas Jefferson himself. You understand? But he that is spiritual judge of all things, man. Let's read that. Christianity has got everybody all kinds of messed up, man. Got you messed up. It's one of those natural things. And like, he ain't black. He can't be an Israelite. <laughs> Come on, man. You crazy as hell. Great Millstone, it's, uh, from what I see, is, is the only camp, is the only camp that has so-called look of white people in it. Why? Because the spirit bear witness. You understand? This is a spiritual thing, man. It's not all, it's not about carnality and nonsense and, and just, uh, you know, uh, grandstanding and gimmicks. You know, look at the group, uh, Wi-Fi or uh, uh, Watchmen for Israel. They got people down there uh, kissing, kissing their boots. And uh, what if that's one of your brothers, man? What if that's an Israelite? You just transgressed against your own brother, you know. And what Ed and what Edomite, what Edomite, like a true Edomite, what true Edomite? Because they're proud as hell. You remember the scripture said, "He's a proud man, neither keeper at home." The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, and Obadiah, ha and Habakkuk, and all kinds of different. He's the proudest person on the planet. Would a pr would a proud man kneel down and kiss your boot and lick the dust off your feet? The answer is no. So that very well could have been an Israelite, and you didn't even think about that. You see why? Why? Because he looked he because he looked white. When when all that was made up in, in Virginia in 1683, you, you got to come up some kind of level, Jake. First Corinthians two and verse fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Most High. Okay. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they can, can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. That's why we always go into that, man. This is a spiritual battle. And if you're going to fight it, you got to fight it the right way. You got to rightfully divide the word with the word. And to understand having the unction from the Holy One that you know of all things. That's why we say we got 100% truth. And that's right. As the, as the, that's right. See? <coughs> Please excuse me. Verse 15. But he that is spiritual, what? He that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he is judge of no man. For who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. But but we have the mind of Hamashiach Yahawashai. Woo! See that? Striving to be more like Yahawashai every doggone day, man. See? Every damn day, man. Let's go. Numbers 1 and 2. Let's, 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 let's come on back because this is what the brother was going into. And it's the truth. You know, your, uh, um, the woman, your, uh, your moms, you know, your moms, is, as, the, as the people say in the world, is the fertile ground. She's the fertile ground. It's, it's, the, it's the, your, your daddy that plants the seed, man. And by the way, <clears throat> please excuse me. I'm a little stopped up. Uh, by the way, it's also the father that determines whether it's going to be a, a woman or a man. And that's a fact. The X and the Y chromosomes, even going into Esau's dumbass science. Okay? Even he can't disprove that. But yet and still in this world, see, they're clean contrary to our learning. See? They're clean contrary to Yahweh Bachim Yahweh Shai. In this world and here in Babylon, you know, and also uh, over there where the, uh, where the 1948ers dwell, they always tell you, well, uh, I, my mother's side, my mother's side, well, that don't matter. You see, that don't matter. And what you saw uh, through Thomas Jefferson and uh, was it Sally Flemings, which was a slave that he decided to, to, you know, get with. And she was probably with it, too. You know how Eve and Esau is a match made in hell, right? All the way from Genesis. It's a damn shame and it's disgusting. 
But that's all right. That's all right. You see, an Israelite man, no matter what he looks like, because we are scattered to the four corners of the earth, man, this is, these are simple concepts. Just read the Bible. It's very simple. Since we were scattered to the four corners of the earth, you know how Jake is, man. We like women, okay? And we're going to get with them women. I, and it don't matter if they are uh, uh, Edomites or Moabites or uh, uh, Hamites. If they, if they uh, tickle, uh, <laughs> as they it's a country term, but if they tickle our fancy, we're going to get with it. Because that's what we do. We don't die, we multiply. 70 uh, in Egypt, 70 Israelites become a multitude of Israelites, man. Let's go. We don't die, we multiply, man. I would say we like babies, kids, but hell no. They was they were they just you know. Anyway, Numbers one of verse two: Take ye the sum of the con uh, congregation of the children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers. See that with the number of their names, every male by their post, every what every male. You know that's why when you get married, even in this damn dumbass queendom, because that's what it is. Everything's all soft and catered to the damn woman. I noticed it the other day. Walking through the store, everybody walking around like a bunch of damn zombies. Men carrying purses and shit. You know, the masculinity is all kinds of gone. You know, that's why I, I, I've noticed that, man. That's why, you know, when I, you know, I'll be at the uh, I checkout line or whatever, and, and, and the person say, hey, how you doing? I say, hey, how, you know, how you doing? Everybody looks at me. Like, 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 where'd that masculine energy come from? Some people, some people like it. Some people are just surprised. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Inside joke, right? Let's jump on down to verse 18. <coughs> they're just, they're not used to men speaking up for themselves, man. Numbers 1 of verse 18. And they, uh, and, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. They declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Okay, and don't get me wrong. The woman plays an absolutely beautiful part. Without her, we, you know, we can't have no children. We can't uh, procreate by our damn self. Although, uh, like, not like those bug outs. I don't get it, man. It's a, it's a bug out doctrine going on out there. Especially with these damn hotep niggas, man. They have just lost their mind, man. Anyway, there's a doctrine going on out there that uh, a woman can pro uh, procreate by her damn self. Which I, I, I've yet to see that happen. I mean, it, it's so asinine and backwards that uh, I, I believe there's even people in Congress, you know, uh, you know, which is an Edomite thing. Uh, what is the Palabians and the uh, Eutricians? Uh, tr 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 uh, Triutians. I, I probably said it wrong, so lucky if I did. Anyway, Republicans and Democrats, same thing today. You know, when they're up in Congress and there's people saying that, uh, you know, women can uh, procreate by themselves. And, and, and I, I just, this place has got to this place got to go, man. The point of this lesson is you cannot judge according to appearance. You got to stop doing that. You got to stop doing that, man. All right. You got to use discernment. You got to uh, use the spirit. Rightfully divide the word with the word. Romans 9 verse 15. This is what, oh, see, let's go, let's go on back down here. This is really what scared that uh, that Edomite lady. And I think, I don't know, she may she may be an Israelite. I, I mean, no, no matter what I think, I don't know. I haven't tried her spirit. You know, she's probably an Edomite because she got scared as hell when she read this. Now, who the hell's going to jump? You know, like the elder said in his video, he took it a whole different route and it makes all kinds of sense. Who the hell's going to jump? Uh, you mean to tell me you didn't read uh, Romans 1 all the way down to verse 15? She just started at 15 or 22? See? She started at 16, I believe. Anyway, let's read this. This is what scared the hell out of her. She started to realize and understand that he's not an all-loving God. And he created people, vessels of wrath, fitted to destruction. And he hates Edomites. He also hates sinners. And he, and he damn sure has a disdain to two-thirds of his own people. That's why he gonna, he's, he's going to destroy them. Y'all need to come up on some, read the Bible. Romans 9 and verse 13. You black, you black Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> You're preaching hate. No, we're preaching truth. We're preaching love, baby. Let's go. We're telling the truth. 
You know, as a matter of fact, uh, there uh, may, uh, may be some people, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm just going to admit it. And it's the truth. This is the 100% truth. There may be some people on my mama's side that are Edomites. Hmm? I'm just saying. We've, I've done a little research, but I'll leave that where it's at. Romans 9 and verse 13, that's, and that's the truth. And I, that makes all kinds of sense to me. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see? But Esau have I hated. No matter what somebody looks like, man. You know, you know when I first came into this truth, I used to you know, say and do things like that. I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm white people. I don't like white, I don't like white people. You know, start a, try, trying to teach a, you hate them. You hate them. No, no, screw all that. You can't do that. At some point in time, you got to grow from that nonsense. You have to grow from that nonsense. And no, you're going to have other groups and other people saying, y'all, y'all just trying to get white people. Y'all just trying to get a, you. You know, I've heard of many of them women. Eve talking about you just want to get with those Mexican women. You are, you know, what I'm you brothers know what I'm talking about. You just want to get with them Mexican. My wife is a Gadite. Hello? My wife is an Israelite. You big dummy. Okay? And she's got she's even got lighter skin than my, uh, than most Gadites. So so what do you what do you say now? You can't you can't tell me I'm not an Israelite. You can't tell me she's not an Israelite. The spirit bear witness does it not. Huh? Oh boy, I could tell you she's Northern Kingdom. The attitude out of, out of, out of that one. <laughs> Salakia. <laughs> she might even get mad about that, but I don't give a damn. Verse 14. <coughs> Let's go. Let's get it. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. See? For he have uh, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. This is where that damn devil started reading. Now she, now, now she has no more faith now that she's starting to get some understanding, right? You don't want to believe this because it scares you, doesn't it? You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is coming back to kill. So then it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth, but of power that showeth mercy. He showeth mercy. See, verse 17, and who needs mercy? It damn sure ain't the people that run the earth. They don't, well, some of them do. <laughs> they, some of them are two-time losers in this place. All right, that's a whole nother lesson, though. Verse 17, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, for, for this same purpose I have raised up thee, that I might show my power in thee, and that, I'm, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. And his name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, that's the heavenly father and the son's name. By way thereof, there's only one mediator. That's it. Therefore, he uh, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will uh, heart uh, he slack you, and whom he will he hardeneth. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know why I struggle through that. Like I haven't read it a blue million times. Verse nineteen: Thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nobody can resist his will. That's the whole point. People are starting to figure out you have no free will. And, you know, and this, this is going into something else right here. But he, yeah, he showeth mercy on whom he will show mercy, which is the, the Israelites. That would be the one third. In case then that, what is the 144,000 mighty men, the governors of the house of Israel forevermore sitting on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. You see that right there? Do you understand that? Okay. Now, I mean, we don't know, but you would perceive, we'll probably all get our melanin back, you know, but we don't know what them new bodies are going to look like, man. Whatever it is, it's going to be glorious. And the water to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Matthew 13, verse 25, this is red letters, Yahweh Shai speaking. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Did you hear what that said? Okay. Now, if you can put two and two together, come on, Jake, you can do it. We can do this. We can do this. We can gain understanding today. Okay. But while men slept and we were and back in those days, we were damn sure asleep. It wasn't three days and a half yet, was it? Follow me. 
But while men slept, his enemies came and sowed tares among the wheat. Now the wheat and, and went his way, right? Now the wheat and the tares, they look the same. No, no matter what, the wheat and the tares look the same. Again, you're going to have, you know, what, as, the, as the world said, you're going to have chocolate covered Edomites. And you're going to have so, uh, uh, so-called white Israelites. And every variation in between. That's why you got to be a spiritual Israelite. Not, uh, not, not a natural man that believeth all things and, and that is spiritually discerned. Come on, man. Do you understand? But when, but when his blade was sprung up and brought, for, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. See, they, left, they, 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 all, they grew together, right? They did not grow together. Let's go, let's go here. Because I, 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 I briefly spoke about this scripture right here. This is Revelation 11 and verse 11. After three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Mosai entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them that saw them after three days and a half. You know, hey, you know, I hate to use the dates, but it was roughly 1619, you know, around in there. You know, that, uh, that parlays all the way up into about 1969, 70. You see? But before that, what? When the enemy was uh, sowing his tares, which yet to, to this day he uh, sows his seed. You know, he sows his seed amongst the wheat. And that, and that wheat is, uh, is the, you know, is Eve, man. Northern and Southern Kingdom, no matter what they look like. He, he put his seed in, uh, in a fertile ground. And, and, and what sprung up? His seed. After, his, after its own kind. You see? A seed within a seed, its own kind sprung up. No, not just some, something miraculous. You can't, you can't breed out the seed of an eater, but you can't breed it out. Only way that can be reversed is, is you know, with, a, with the seed. It can be reversed. You can, the seed of the Edomite, as long as uh, uh, his children have males, and then, then his children have males, and his children have males, that seed lives, man, no matter what they look like. Romans 13, verse 11, and knowing that it is high time that now that it is high time that we awake out of sleep for now our salvation is nearer than what we believed and who's our salvation, the Israelites. See, it's high time to what? To awake out of sleep. And hey, and that great awakening is happening right now, but it began what? After three days and a half. And before that, what did the enemy do? Sowed his seed amongst the wheat. Hello, you saw the descendants of Thomas Jefferson and Sally Flemings. You saw that. This is easy, man. I just got a couple more. I'll close out. Romans 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high Yahweh. It's the spirit that bear witness. And, you know, you, you continue to walk by sight. And what you see, what did you forget that this place is full of uh, sorceries and robberies? What you see is not exactly what it is. That's why you got to walk by the spirit, man. The straight and narrow gate. There's only one path. There's only one way. But wide is wide is the oh, well, let's see. Let's lock it. Let's get that. Yeah, mm-hmm, right. So lock here, one moment. Un momento. Yes, that's uh, that's what I wanted. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Zai. Matthew 7, verse 13. It's red letters now. Enter ye at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which that go in their writ. You see that? Wide is the way. So it's very easy. It's very easy for a lot of people to walk into the way of destruction, you know, but, the, but it's very hard for what? For people to find that straight gate, man. All right. Because straight is the, uh, is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. That reminds me of the brother uh, Nabala. Yeah, down there, the Virgin Island straight gate. I, that's a good name. I like that. That's a good brother too, man. Shalom to that brother, okay? Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves, man. Ye shall know them by their what? By their fruits. Do uh, <laughs> Right? You should know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree, what? what uh, 
how, how does a tree uh, spring up? The seed goes into the ground, and what happens? The same damn tree pops up. Hello? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. A good tree, what is the, a, a good, good fruit is the Israelites. The fruit of the loom, you know, the uh, underwear brand? <laughs> the fruit of the loom, man, that's probably why they called it that. The fruit of the loom, ain't that something? Ye shall know them by the fruits. That's a verse 17, Salaki. So Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And then what's that corrupt tree? It's the damn enemy that sold the uh, uh, sold, uh, the tares, man, amongst the wheat. He's always been corrupt. Didn't the scripture say he's a liar from birth? Huh? He abode not in the truth? Well, actually, uh, John 8 and 44, that's going to the Israelites. That's why two-thirds got to be gobbled up by the fire. But the spirit does bear witness. I read that. Matthew 13 and verse 30. Woo! I was right here at... <coughs> Salakia. Um, no, let's just go back. Matthew 13 and verse 30. What does this say? This is the red letters too. Yahweh Shah speaking. Let both grow together until the harvest. When is the harvest? In the presence of the holy, uh, uh, in, the, in the lamb and of the holy angels, man. And they're going to be getting down when Yahweh Shah comes and every eye shall see him. Revelation 1 and verse 7. Behold, he all uh, standing on a cloud, chariot big as hell. You, and it's just, you same Israelites are back. Same one, same ones that was in the wilderness talking about uh, uh, the the manna, the rain, literal food raining down from heaven wasn't enough. You niggas done made a golden calf. Now you worshiping a chair. Y'all are crazy, man. <laughs> Matthew thirteen and verse thirty. Let both grow together until the harvest. When, what's the harvest? Woo! When, when the reapers, right? The reapers come down and, and reap. Let's read this. At the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Now, who the hell are you in that day to look at the angels and say, man, why are you getting them black people, man? He was black. He was black. You got you. You wrongfully uh, uh, tore his ass up. At that at that point, the angels probably gonna look at you and see that you ain't got that mark on your head, man. You see, uh, 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 not on your head, but you don't have that mark, which which would be uh, uh, the other having an understanding of, and of being an Israelite, and being a part of the one third. That's the mark. Come not near them to have the mark. Well, let's let's read it. Who are you to tell the angel, man? No, he's black, man. He's a black man. What you doing? You niggas are crazy, man. Ezekiel 9 and verse 6. Slay utter old, <laughs> slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man upon who is the mark. And no, that's not the MOT to the B. That's not the C hip or a Neuralink or none of that. No. No. The angels gonna know what mark that is. All right. As a matter of fact, let me explain it to you. Uh, I, you know, I briefly tried to before, and I hope I'm not going off. But that mark is uh, is the angel seeing that. Uh, the, uh, oh, well, that's one of my brothers right there. He's got the, you know, he's got the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He's got that mark. They're gonna see and they're gonna understand that the, sp the spirit gonna bear witness to them. Nope, come not near him. You know, don't uh, not them. Leave them alone. Them other niggas over there. You get them. All right, and them heathen, right? But come not near whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Woo -hoo -hoo. Then they begin at the ancient of men, which were before the house. Ooh, that, that's powerful right there. So that's the lesson. And hopefully it was edifying, man. You can't judge according to appearance. Stop that bullshit. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, with whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Stop it, damn it. Stop it. Come up on some kind of level and quit being a, a colonel, just a, a, just a simpleton, man. Okay? Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwam Yacharala, Wa, a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom.